Hey guys, welcome to my next vlog for Star Wars Resistance. Um, this is episode 10, Station Theta Black, and right off the bat, I want to say something. Um, I thought that this was the season finale at first, until I looked online and learned that this is just the mid-season finale, so anything that I said in the previous episodes about um, that this was the final episode, it's not, this is the mid-season finale, I don't know why I thought that, um, seasons are usually about 20-some episodes, so there's that, but anyway, let's, now that that's out of the way, let's get into this episode a little bit, because I really liked this episode, especially after last episode. This one focuses a lot more on Kaz, um, it's very similar to the one episode where Kaz and Poe go on a mission together, and that's exactly what happens in this episode. Um, Kaz meets with Poe, and uh, they're supposed to be going to this um, old uh, mining facility that the First Order has uh, left kind of dormant and is planning on destroying. And the mining facility is to basically weaponize the First Order to make blasters. And they go on a nice little fun adventure. Um, and I, it's overall just a really fun episode. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It's just light fun. Which um, was what the um, first episode with Poe was like. And... Um, Overall, yeah, I liked it a lot. Um, I think that the show has, um, it, it's definitely not meant for me, but it does have some fun to it. It has some very kiddie stuff to it, too, that is, uh, definitely for a younger demographic, but I still have overall liked the show, even at its most childish. But, um... Yeah, I liked this episode. I liked the voice acting, of course. Um, everything is pretty good with that, such as, um, well, uh, Oscar Isaac comes back as the voice of Poe Dameron. We got Gwendolyn Christie back as Captain Phasma. And also interesting, we have Leia in this episode. Um, Leia appeared in the first episode, but she didn't have a speaking role, and I was really interested and kind of worried that they were going to have her talk, and I was going to be like, this isn't going to be Carrie Fisher coming out of Leia's mouth, and, uh, of course it's not, and, um, the voice actor that they have doing her voice, she does a good job. Um, she definitely tries to sound as much as she can like Carrie Fisher, but of course she can't be Carrie Fisher, and there's definitely, like, there's definitely something there. It's like, this isn't quite right, but I'm not going to say that this hasn't happened before. I mean, in the Clone Wars, we had... Um, different people voicing Yoda, Obi-Wan, and Anakin. So, I mean, it, it sounds just enough like her to um, know that that is Leia, but uh, in a way it can be kind of distracting. But, um, yes, all, so with all that said, it was a fun episode, as I said before, and... Um, this is where I think I'm going to talk a little bit about the show overall so far, since this is the mid-season finale. Um, this show has had some ups and downs, honestly. I really liked the first episode quite a bit, and I've made a, my goal to rewatch every episode at least one more time after initially watching them, and I have liked the show pretty well. Um, some episodes are, of course, better than others. Some episodes are kind of, eh. 
like uh, last week's episode, I really wasn't a fan of. But I have stuck with this show because I'm sick and tired of this Star Wars hate that is going on. And I feel like this show has just been bombarded by people hating on it because it's it's popular to hate on Star Wars right now and also the fact that this was definitely aimed for a younger demographic and so and the fact that it wasn't the Clone Wars and wasn't Rebels it, it was definitely just up for being attacked and I think the show is perfectly fine um, it's not amazing in any way. I think Clone Wars, at least where Clone Wars got near the end of the series, is better than the show. I think Rebels is better than the show, but there's nothing particularly wrong with this show. Um, it just hasn't hit its stride yet, which I hope it does, because I, I want to support this show, and I want to really like it, and I've liked a a lot of the episodes. I enjoy the characters. I think Kaz is a fun character. I think characters like Niku are funny. Um, I like some of the mentions we get of um, the Star Wars saga at large, such as Kylo Ren, Captain Phasma, Poe, Leia. I like all that stuff, and um, it's a welcome addition to the show. But, um, it just has some problems here and there of, um, basically, I think one of my problems I have with the show is it's not exactly focused. A lot of it deals with, uh, kind of like the event of the week and, uh, doesn't really have too much of a flowing narrative, whereas, um, Rebels did. And, uh, I think that's what I really liked about Rebels, was the flowing narrative, everything kind of connected together. But here it feels very isolated and um, just kind of uneventful. I think that has to do with the fact that um, Dave Filoni, when he conceived this show, he based it on, I think, his grandfather's experience in World War II where um, a lot of it was, you know, sit, sitting around at base until the fight came. And, um, yeah, the show has a lot of downtime, but sometimes it's just not very interesting, and the characters aren't as memorable as um, Rebels, even. Um, I like the characters enough, but I don't think we get enough of them. And also, there's plot threads that are, you know, brought here and there, such as Captain Doza being an Imperial um, back in the day. And, uh, see, I like that kind of stuff, but then they follow it up with the next episode not even mentioning it. And, uh, it just feels kind of disjointed. So I hope with the second half of this season that those problems can be fixed, hopefully. Um, hopefully we'll get more um, storytelling that is, you know, closely knit together in a fine, well-made story arc. I hope we get that. Um, I just want this show to be good because I've, I liked Clone Wars and I love Rebels, so there's that. Um, so I hope that this show does well to get a second season. I want to see it grow and I hope the second season can improve on what's going on in season one. So, um... Yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on Star Wars Resistance right now. Um, the show comes back on in January, so I'll probably continue these because, um, I mean, once I start something, I don't want to stop. I want to continue through with it. But um, I hope the show does get better. 
Uh, I think it's already good, but um, it can definitely improve. Um, but yeah, that, that's really all I got to say. Um, sorry that this kind of turned into a little bit of a review, but um, it's not a review. It's just my thoughts, but um, I'm not going to give a rating to it right now. Um, so, really, yeah, that's all I got to say. I really enjoyed this episode, and I've enjoyed this show overall. But, um, yeah, that's all I got to say. So, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.